Next up, we have our final speaker of this session, um, Mike Jabot, uh, talking about building OpenStreetMap into the elementary classroom. Good. Well, thank you. Thanks for the opportunity to uh, share a little bit of what we're attempting to do here. Um, this is an outgrowth from uh, using OpenStreetMap and developing our Youth Mappers chapter. Uh, our campus has a large population of pre-service teachers. And so their question was ways that they could take the idea of OpenStreetMap into their classrooms. So um, as you can imagine, uh, working with uh, younger mappers uh, in an elementary school setting has some challenges. And uh, at the top of that list of challenges is uh, student privacy and, and uh, trying to be aware of those kinds of things. So um, I'm starting out this uh, acknowledging that that's a, a huge issue for us. Um, so in this work that I'm uh, describing today, we have a heavy reliance on field papers, uh, but we use it both as a community mapping tool and also as a citizen science tool. Um, so I, I just took two rapid uh, screenshots of sort of uh, the scale at which we would use field papers uh, to accomplish those two things. Um, and so you see those there, you know, uh, along with that, uh, I'm in the, the science education person. So our goal in the work that I do is to try to link uh, OpenStreetMap uh, with uh, helping to meet the next generation science standards. And so the focus that we're using in the elementary schools is connection to earth system science in particular, uh, but also tying to uh, the idea of models as a science and education practice, as well as uh, data analysis and computation and, and OpenStreetMap and the kinds of data and visualization that we get from that is, is a huge help in doing that. So uh, some of the ideas that we've uh, built out uh, across this work have focused on biometry. So uh, elementary kids uh, locating, uh, using field papers, locating trees, and then uh, identifying the species of those trees, measuring the circumference and recording that, uh, and then using that circumference uh, with allometric uh, tables, we can calculate carbon. So just a really nice sequence of uh, connecting their on the ground observations uh, to some really important ideas in science. Um, we have them identifying um, uh, objects in their community. So uh, street lights and fire hydrants, uh, also community improvement, uh, the idea of where sidewalks are broken or where we could uh, maybe encourage um, their community to look at uh, accessible uh, sidewalks and uh, things like that. Uh, we have them uh, routinely check house numbers against uh, the recorded data that we have, and then share that data out with emergency workers in our community. So kind of a, a work at the beginning, uh, lots of uh, work needs to be done going forward, but our hope in doing this work is that we can find a way to link to younger mappers and start to build that momentum that we're seeing in the middle school, high school, and then eventually uh, in a university classroom uh, like mine. So thanks for the opportunity. You can see my information at the top. I'd love to hear your thoughts about doing this and uh, ideas that you have to help us expand the work. So thank you very much.